Hi, it's Professor Ted Stevenson. In this short video, we're going to look at the learning cycle and how it applies to the three levels of the CFA exams. Quickly looking at the learning cycle, as a prof, I try to inspire and motivate my students. Then we move into comprehension. This is the debits, the credits, the numerator, the denominator, the calculator, keystrokes, the basics where the prof is the sage on the stage. You're helping the uh, candidate's comprehension. Then as the coach, the guide on the side, uh, students want to practice, and then you mentor the application. Now, the way that this uh, applies to the CFA levels, let's have a quick look. Okay, if we look at level one, it's about knowledge and comprehension. There's 180 multiple choice questions on the exam, 90 seconds each per multiple choice question. So it's very much memorization, speed is a skill, skill gets rewarded. As we move into level two, it's application and analysis. There's 22 item sets on the exam, 88 multiple choice questions. So you now have three minutes uh, per question. The 10 year pass rate on level two is 45%. The 10 year pass rate on level one is 41%. As we move into level three, that's the synthesis and evaluation. There's 11 essay questions. There's 11 item sets. So 11 item sets, that's 44 multiple choice questions, three minutes each. And now starting in 2023, the morning and afternoon sessions are a mix of five essay and uh, six item sets or vice versa, okay? And the 10-year pass rate on level two, uh, three has been 52%. So finally, looking at the Bloom's taxonomy here, we can see level one is very much understand, remember, multiple choice questions, uh, a lot of memorization. Level two moves up to analyze and apply with the item set questions. And finally, level three, they're asking you to create essay questions. Okay, so in summary, the CFA program, the three levels take you through different levels of the learning cycle, number one. Number two, all three exam formats are different. Number three, the failure rates are fairly high. So what works for level one doesn't work for level two, and what works for level one and two doesn't necessarily work for number three. So how do you tackle the three exams and the changing formats and the changing emphasis? By having a reliable study partner. The Wiley materials are an excellent companion to the official CFA curriculum with the study guide, the practice problems, and the videos in particular. I hope that helped you understand a little bit more about the learning cycle and how it applies to the CFA levels. Have a great day.